in this exam too that you sit um, at the end of the year, last year there were 20 multiple choice questions and there were four extended response questions. In each of those four extended response questions, uh, at some stage, the students who sat the exam had to deal with a, a function f of x. So it's worthwhile setting up your calculator before you go into the exam in recognition that there are going to be, well, we think, uh, four um, extended response questions. Just in case there's five, we can also uh, deal with that um, with, without any problems. So in this particular little vignette, I'd just like to show you um, how to insert a page uh, and also how to insert a problem. So what I'm showing you here, you should do or should have done before you go into the exam. A little tactic like this, I feel as though uh, will save you a minute or so because um, the math methods exam two seems to be a very, very busy uh, exam, um, uh, you know, it, it, and it's go you're going to be pushed for time. So any sort of time saving that you can make um, prior to the exam you know, hopefully will be or should be beneficial uh, to you. So what I've done here is I've just opened up uh, a, a document and what I'll do is I'll add a calculator page and you'll notice that the tab here is 1.1. .1. And this one here represents the page number, and this one here represents the uh, problem number. And so we can make a, a, an assessment that, um, OK, uh, in the extended response uh, section, there's quite a strong possibility that uh, I'll need to use the calculator application uh, and also the graphs application. So what you could do, for example, is to have um, set up already uh, five what are called problems, and I'll show you what they are in a moment, and each problem represents uh, a question that you'll be doing in extended response. So for example, here we have page 1.1. To add another page, we can press Control Doc, and we can add a graphs application. So notice there that we've got two pages uh, in that problem, 1.1 and 1.2 to move between pages, uh, going back through the pages is control big button to the left, moving forward is control big button to the right. Um, so what I think you should do is question one of multi uh, question one of extended response should be problem number one on your calculator. Then what we can do is we can insert uh, another problem. So if we press uh, doc and then number four for insert and then number one for problem and then we add a calculator again. Note that the tab here now says 2.1. So this is page one of problem two and we can also um, again add a graphs page and that should form um, page 2.2. So if we continue on in this vein, so um, if you're doing uh, question, your question two in extended response should be done in problem two. So if we press a uh, doc again and we insert uh, a problem and add a calculator that becomes 3.1 and then control doc and then add a graphs page that's 3.2. So we might just continue on the process and um, let's get five problems uh, uh, set up. So if we press um, doc, number four, insert, number one, problem, calculator, then control, uh, doc to add a page, another graphs page, and then uh, doc, uh, number four for insert, number one for problem, add a calculator page, and then control doc to um, add a graphs page, for example. And then what we can do is we can say, well, OK, um, if the exam happens to consist of five extended response questions, I'm going to do each exam question uh, and represent it on my calculator as a problem. And we'll show you the benefit of doing that. You can also press Control Up 
that gives you an overview um, of all the problems. So if we work our way up, this is just pressing the um, big button up and we get to problem one, for example. And let's say um, in problem one, uh, you were working with a, a, a quadratic, for example. It might be uh, f of x and um, we might assign that, which is uh, the same uh, command as, um, as define. Assign is colon equals. It's accessed by pressing control symbols template. So let's say we um, uh, define that to, or assign that to be x squared minus uh, 7x plus 12 and then press enter. Then if we work with that quadratic in, in problem one, uh, it means that you're not um, getting into any trouble with uh, variables or with stored um, functions. So in question one, for example, that quadratic f of x is x squared minus 7x plus 12. So you can, for example, calculate f of 2 and get 2. Now if we go to the calculator application in problem 2, in problem 2, and the, this is the difference between the problems, we've put up a barrier between each of the problems. We've put up a fence. Um, so in problem 1, f of x was that quadratic, uh, represented by uh, x squared minus 7x plus 12. In problem 2, uh, f of x doesn't have any um, anything assigned to it. So for example, if I type in f of x and press enter, the calculator will spit back um, f of x. And I think that this is um, a worthwhile tactic for you uh, in uh, setting up your device, organising your device, so that on the day, if you do one exam question or one problem per exam question, then the chances of you um, making boo-boos or making mistakes um, with functions, uh, I think um, drastically uh, lessen.